Welcome to 1031 University. I'm Paul Holloway. Today we're going to talk about the 1031 timeline. So you're in the middle of a 1031 exchange, you sold your front end property and you've closed on it. Now, how much time do I have in order to complete my exchange and what do the timelines look like? So what I'm going to do is go over the timeline and let you know what the deadlines are under 1031 of the code. So on the timeline, Everything starts from the sale of your front end property, as well referred to as the relinquished property. And everything is completed once you purchase one or multiple replacement properties. So that's the entire line, but how much time, once again, do you have to complete the exchange? So once again, the clock starts running from the actual closing of your front end property not when you go under contract, but when you actually close and benefits and burdens of ownership transfer. So from the, that date, you have 45 days in order to identify up to three potential replacement properties. And we have another YouTube piece that talks about the identification rules, but 45 days to ID up to three, which means that you have to submit in writing a list of three potential properties listed by either address, legal description, or identifiable name like the White House in Washington, D.C. or Bar S Ranch in Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, as long as it is unambiguous and sent in within 45 days, you have satisfied the first of the two deadlines under 1031 of the code. Moving forward, you have day 46 until the end of your exchange you now have an additional 135 days to put under contract and close one or more of the properties that you identified by day 45 at midnight. So between the two dates, day 45 and the 135, you have a total of 180 days in order to complete the exchange also referred to as the exchange period under 1031 of the tax code. Questions that I get a lot of times, if day 45 or day 180 falls on a weekend or holiday, obviously the newer, friendlier IRS is going to give me additional time, right? Unfortunately, that is not the case. In the tax code, day 45 and 180, if it falls on a weekend or holiday, that date is firm. They do not extend like your tax filing until the next date, that, that being the next business day. So if day 45 falls on a Sunday, for example, not a problem. You can fax, email, postmark that ID that's signed and dated by you and send that in to your intermediary. But problematic is day 180 of the exchange. If day 180 is on a Sunday, I am not aware of any escrow or title company that will close your deal over a weekend. So you are definitely going to want to make sure and close that transaction no later than to say day 178, the previous Friday, in order to be within that 180 day exchange period. So this hopefully gives you an idea of the amount of time involved in a 1031 exchange. And this has been 1031 University. If you want further educational pieces on the 1031 process, please visit our website, accruit.com. Or if you enjoyed this tax tip, you can sub subscribe to our YouTube channel and be on the lookout for further tips. Thank you so much.